morning guys it is a thursday morning in quarantine and i'm going to take you guys through a day in my life working at a pr agency from home so i've worked at three pr agencies so far in my very short-lived career i graduated from tulane university two years ago as you just saw i have a whole morning routine i woke up at 8 a.m this morning and it is now 9 a.m so i spend a lot of time prepping for the day in the morning Sometimes I work out in the morning, but with more flexibility in quarantine, sometimes I just like to sleep a little later and take a workout as a mental health break and physical health break during the day. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Now let's go make breakfast, coffee. I'm a huge coffee addict. I'm starving, let's go. <laughs> I'm now in my brother's room. I have a standing 9.45 meeting, but it is exactly 9.45. So I'm gonna take this quick standing meeting, get a few things done, and then I will update you all on my day and all things PR. And I'm just in a rush, which I usually am. Hi guys. Okay, we're back. It is now 10.02 and I don't know if you saw my Y7, review where I showed you how I burnt my bed on fire by lighting a candle. Well, this isn't as bad, but I have now attacked a bed of a second bedroom in my parents' home with blueberries. I was trying to eat my blueberry pancakes and what I like to do is squirt the blueberry to sort of make it like a blueberry syrup, which is so good. And I squirted it mid call right onto my brother's sheets. Yeah, this is just the story of my life. There's the blueberry spritz that I like to spritz, and there is the damage. By the way, they came out really good. So first thing I do in the morning, besides that meeting, and chug my entire coffee that's already done and eat blueberry pancakes is, I have this cute to-do list from Kate Spade. I want you to see what's on it. And then later on in the vlog midday, when I get some of my to-dos out of the way, I will sit down and explain to you what is PR, what it's like working in a PR agency, just sort of an overview of that. My to-do list here, my coffee, ring light. Here is my computer. I have a Gabby Bernstein mantra in the background. It's good to feel good. And I always have a YouTube playing um, sort of split screen and I work on this screen if I don't really have to focus and I'm doing like when I'm tracking press coverage I it's sort of mindless busy work so I will have it on this side of the screen and then I am always watching YouTube and here is Tara Michelle love her vlogs I have my hydro flask filled with cold water at all times and there's my breakfast that I need to throw out and there's the blueberry stain so here's my setup <laughs> I can't, you're so cute. Do you have any messages you would like to say? That wasn't English. Hey. Oh, you have one? <laughs> hey guys, I know it's been tough uh, being at home, working around your family, and trying to stay sane. But you have to remember that life is more and more and more and more. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. You're welcome. So, it is about 1240. 
and I want to get a walk in. Then I have a bunch of work to do and I have a meeting at two o'clock. So I'm gonna try to get a walk in now. That's the plan. Hey Siri. No, not on my phone. Hey Siri, open outdoor walk workout on Apple Watch. Oh no. I'm really sorry for the bad quality, but when you go for a walk, just, I don't know, I'm just like thinking while listening to this podcast and waiting for my friend to call me. But I just wanted to say, if you do work at a PR agency and you're like, how do you have the time to go for a walk? And like, meditate in the morning and do all these things like I make it a point to get it in for me this is a non-negotiable I have so much work to do but I refuse to like I've already had those days where I'm sitting in that room that you just saw me sit in all day without any breaks if I can't take 20 to 30 minutes to take a walk even if it means working 20 to 30 minutes later in the day or telling someone I'm really swamped. Can you help me out here? Like, don't be afraid to speak up. Honestly, it's priorities. I find that I am more present and more productive in work when I'm not miserable sitting there all day. So just had to get that out there. If you're watching this because you also work at a PR agency, I feel you. It's a lot of work to be done. It's a lot of long hours, but you have to put yourself first or the work is gonna suffer. The fam your family, if you're living with them, is gonna suffer. Anyone that's around you is gonna suffer. So just focus on yourself first and yeah. literally tastes just like a mock plum in the city. I miss it. I need this pick me up. It's 1.40, I have a meeting at two, but whether I like to admit it or not, I inhale my food within six minutes, so no problem at all. Um, but every single day I watch the morning toast while I eat lunch. It's like this ritual I have. Good morning, millennials. Welcome back to the morning toast. It <laughs> Okay guys, I'm gonna be honest, after that meeting, I heavily procrastinated with work. I was updating my Instagram with what everyone voted for, which was what they wanna to see today, favorite Instagram accounts to follow. So I'll give you a sneak peek. So I'm gonna do something that I've heard about in some podcasts I've been listening to lately. I do time batch on the weekends in terms of like filming YouTube content and things like that. But I heard that people like, if they have to clean their apartment, like they'll set a timer and they give themselves 30 minutes to clean it. And like just being on that timer makes you focused. So I'm gonna put a timer on for one hour to be in complete work mode. Let's put one hour on the clock. And get to work. I would just like to say I got one of my big projects done with 14 minutes to spare on the timer. I'm proud of myself. I barely checked my phone, chugging cold brew and then putting a timer on my phone. This is something I'm gonna use all the time now. That was amazing. I don't know, it was really good. Wow, I got a lot done. Okay, 
So now I think I could sit down and tell you guys a bit more about PR since it's four o'clock. Okay guys, I needed a change of scenery, so we're in the bedroom. So, what is PR? I feel like anytime it's been explained to me, it's just been too complicated and too abstract and too broad. And I just wanted to explain it to you guys in a way where I wish someone explained it to me before I graduated or before I got a job in PR. It also helps with the interview process for when they say why PR, just like truly understanding the day to day and what PR is. Essentially working at a, P first of all, okay, well, there is working at a PR agency and then there is working in-house PR at a brand. So for example, you can work at an agency where Glossier is your client and then you also have another client that is Laura Mercier, or you are in-house at Glossier, and that means you work at Glossier with the PR team, and that is all you're doing every day. You know, if you really like variety or don't know exactly what your focus is going to be, like you don't know if you like beauty or tech or nonprofit or celebrities, then go the agency route after graduation. But an agency, you have several clients. So one, people love hiring in-house from they love hiring people that have already worked in an agency because they know that you have worked your tush off. At an agency, you are learning so much. You are learning how to approach and handle and work with totally different types of clients, totally different types of personalities. You are learning to juggle a million different things at once and you are just learning the ins and outs of PR in every way. If you go straight in-house, you are learning just how this one brand does their own PR. So if you are young and hungry to learn and don't know exactly what your focus is yet, I would definitely go to an agency. So PR is public relations, which essentially just means press. What is press? All of those articles you're reading online on Cosmopolitan, on Refinery29, on New York Post. If there is an interview on Cosmo, with the founder of a beauty brand. The people that work for this beauty brand's PR, so let's just use Glossier again, whoever their PR representatives are, worked with that editor to make this interview happen and to make this article happen about their new product or about whatever it is. Another thing might be, again, I'll just keep using Glossier. They don't have a new product or anything, but they want press, they want their name out there, they want to have a good reputation. So let's say they don't have a new product or anything and they just want general press. So um, Valentine's Day is coming up. I'm going to create a pitch, which is just an email that I'm gonna send out to a targeted list of editors, probably beauty editors, women's lifestyle editors that I'm going to create a media list of those targets. And I'm going to reach out to them with my email pitch that says, are you working on any roundups for Valentine's Day and like looking cute on Zoom for a quarantine date for Valentine's Day? If so, I wanted to let you know, uh, I wanted to give you the rundown on Glossier and give them some t statistics on how much people are loving it and some studies you've done and X, Y, Z, give them all the products. And then you're just putting all the information in the editor's inbox for them to just have everything ready to go. And if they're about to work on a Valentine's Day roundup, why wouldn't they include all the amazing information you just sent over to them? I wish someone would have just told me that. It explains sort of the day to day. It explains what public relations is. Like, yes, it's it's create, it's storytelling. This is what I was always told. PR is storytelling. PR is building relationships. Well, yes, you are storytelling for your brand and you are building relationships with editors so that they are responsive and going to take your pitches and include your clients in their material. That doesn't explain to a person who's graduating college and never been in the workforce and never had a PR internship what the hell PR is. So I hope this was helpful. I'm back at my desk. I just wanted to hop on here and just address that. Obviously, there's way more to PR. We come up with PR campaigns, whether it's a whole partnership with a nonprofit um, with a hashtag and getting celebrities involved. I'm getting a call, but that's not all there is to PR. There's more, but I just wish that someone told me that simplified version when I was looking into internships and jobs post-grad. Okay, bye.
in this chair okay it's 5 30 I'm so tired that really did boost my mood though I just feel really relaxed right now I love Melissa what health I'm sick of sitting in front of this computer all right let's go time 30 minutes Okay guys, it is 6.30 and I'm going to end my work day here, end the vlog here. I'm finished working for the night. I did everything that I needed to get done by the end of the day, but of course I still have a bunch to do tomorrow, but tomorrow's Friday, so great. Thank you for spending my day with me and I hope you learned a little bit more about PR. Make sure to subscribe so we can keep hanging out and do the push notifications little bell down there so that you never miss a video. Love you guys, stay healthy. Mwah.